Hey guys, what's up? Do you remember that video I made a while ago about the manga card that Declan Akaba has, uh, which is his final boss monster? It has four Ds in its name. Well, apparently the effect was incomplete, so I may have to take back what I said about this card. To make it easier uh, to find, I will leave the link to the video down below so you can see my initial assessment of the card. However, obviously with the changes, you will tell from this video how much I actually love this card now. This is DDDD, Super Dimensional Sovereign Emperor Zero Paradox. That's quite a posh name. To introduce Sovereign into the name makes it sound like uh, some sort of um, DDD nobility. Well, I suppose it is, uh, being the only one of the cards with four Ds in its name. This is a level 12 with 3000 attack and 3000 defense. And its effect is, this card cannot be normal summoned, but can be special summoned when you pendulum summon a DDD monster and the combined value of your pendulum scales exceeds this card's level. So that means you need to have a total of 13 or above. When this card is special summoned, you can destroy all other cards on the field. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can treat a card or cards in your opponent's pendulum zone as your cards. Once per turn, if a DDD monster leaves the field, you can double this card's attack. Now, I have already covered the first effect about the destroying all other cards on the field, so I will move on to the other effects. I'll just briefly say that it's it's used within a couple of cards, and uh, these other cards are actually much easier to get out in the first place. So by this effect alone, it do this does not make this card great. The ability to manipulate your opponent's pendulum cards is beneficial, as this means you can gain their effects as well. People tend not to always use specific pendulum monsters. They may splash them into normal decks just for their additional generic effects. You can manipulate their effects to your advantage. These abilities can range from card destruction to searching. Now, uh, to say the biggest issue with this is since we've got the introduction of the link format, the attention is less towards pendulum summoning and more towards link summoning. That's not to say that this card is useless, but it's um, it would have been great if it had been released maybe to the tail of the pendulum era, as this would have encouraged use and people will still have been running pendulum monsters anyway. So at that in in that respect, you would have almost been guaranteeing you know card advantage through this card's effect. It would be also be interesting if you can use your opponent's scales. So, for example, you have your scales set up, but they are not as good as you want them to be. For example, you have a scale of 5 and a scale of 9. This would only enable pendulums of monsters leveled 6 to 8. And if your opponent had a scale of 1, you could replace your lower scale of 5 to a 1 to bring out a wider variety of monsters. In this example, you would be able to run um, and summon monsters between the levels of 2 and 8. The manipulation of pendulum monsters is the ultimate means of protecting yourself, as this will either discourage your opponent from using them, or at least force them to think twice about using them. I like this effect as the monster is still difficult to bring out, but provides a reason to run this card. The final ability to double this card's attack is an amazing ability to think this could become a 6000 attack monster without much fear of being defeated by your opponent, as even your opponent's Utopia the Lightning won't be able to defeat this. This is an effect that keeps the attack increase for as long as the card is on the field. This means unless your opponent has something like Book of Moon or Fairy Tale Snow, they may be unable to remove this card. 
There is no real downside to this effect, as since it can be continually used, provided obviously that it is the once per turn, this card can increase to over 12,000 in a matter of two DDD monsters leaving the field. The final benefit of this is it does not say how the DDD monster has to leave the field. This means provided it has actually been summoned properly to the field in the first place, whether your opponent decided to banish it, send it to the graveyard or return it either to your hand or deck, this will still trigger the effect. It is also not reliant on your opponent as either of you could get rid of a DDD monster, so you can increase, increase uh, this card's attack artificially by yourself without having to rely um, so much on what they're doing. Overall, I have completely changed my mind about this card. When its first effect was revealed, this was an effect that was mirrored by other monsters beforehand and would just act as a pendulum incarnate of the same effect. However, since it acts like the master of pendulums to manipulate any pendulum monsters on the field, it has a rightful and deserving place within any pendulum deck uh, that obviously runs DDD monsters. The final effect being the icing on the cake, the ability to continue doubling its attack can force your opponent onto the defensive and result in relatively easy to execute uh, OTKs. So what do you guys think about the new effects of Declan's final manga card? Is it all you expected it to be? Was there anything else you wish it could have included in its effect? Or do you believe that the effect is perfect to meet its difficult to summon condition? Leave your comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this. And, and, and.